commentary, and he's going to be describing that also. I can get a hold of Lou right here. Let me try. Lou, I'm talking to you on the radio now. We're on the PA system. I think you can hear me from that position. And you're going to be describing the takeoff of Roger Leonard as soon as you get the TWD airport turned around. I go like this. Absolutely. And the thing to now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to own a P-51 in the kind of shape that these airplanes are in, you better be prepared to shell out more than $600,000 today. Not today. Just in gasoline alone, the airplane burns a gallon a minute. Soto Vlad Olenek pulls out. And the diamond goes right straight up in the air, minus one. Our three lead chips. That's Ed Chipley, Dan Calderall, and young Jim Beasley. Down they come the other side. Notice holding that formation right tight all the way around the loop. There you hear the sound of that air going through that oil cooler and radiator beneath the airplane. Watch. Way up there goes the nose. Over the top he goes. And back down the other side. The P-51, although it's a very fast airplane, also a very slippery airplane. It does have a three lead chips of the four horsemen. And another beautiful job of holding them right in position. Goes up. And once again, takes her right straight up in the air. Does a little barrel roll out that side. Holds it upside down, turns it into a loop coming right back at you. Right around in here, that airplane is picking up speed at a tremendous rate. This thing headed downhill is like a Simonized brick. <laughs> and he banks it off to the right to clear the area. Bottom of this, depending on the altitude they got, here they come from your right to your left. Lead three ships of the four horsemen and the formation loop. You can hear those engines really start to work as they come over the top. Airspeed falls off considerably, but they hold that spacing, hold that interval right over the top of that loop. And ladies and gentlemen, as I was going to say earlier, that's a sound that, that when Herbert Gehrig heard it, he was the head of the loop flop, and he saw it come. He's got that speed cooking now. Notice he up a lot of sky when you do a loop of that kind of speed. He was doing about 400 down the bottom of here. He's falling down close to about 130 or so over the top, maybe less than that. Don't want to get much slower than that in that airplane up there, I'll tell you that. Gives it a roll coming out, back down that 45 degree line, picking up speed to get on out of here. Now the three ships remaining in formation are formed right over your heads once again. There they come. Up they go. Ed Shipley pulling back nice and easy. Taking his wingman with him right over the top. Now watch as they come down, down that hill. Speed very critical over the top. Pointing straight down. Everybody points some other direction and away they go with the bumper. As once again we present in the P-51, Mustangs, the four horsemen. Here comes Eddie. Wave bye-bye. Say hi to Jimmy Beasley, Jr. Jimmy, a doctor studying to be a lawyer. 
<laughs> Gee whiz. That's how you afford P-51s, I guess. And here's Moonbeam McSwine with Vlad Olenico. Ladies and gentlemen, they can't hear you, but some of their people are still here on the ground. What do you think of the Four Horsemen 1995? <laughs>